What is up guys? Okay, this is something that I have wanted to play on my channel since I first played this game on the PlayStation 2. It was the first ever game actually that I ever had on my PlayStation 2. I have bought this game like three or four times, I can't even remember. I think I had to buy it twice for my PS2. Well, the disc was corrupt or something like that. Then I bought it for my PS3 and I've got it for my PlayStation 4. So, so many people are going to be like, you have so many series on your channel right now. This is just something that I have wanted to play. And it is one of my all-time favorite games and it's something that I just... There's so many games coming out at the moment and stress levels are pretty high just now. And I kind of want to play something that... I know and something that I adore. Okay, so anyway, longest intro ever. We're gonna go for the expert sphere grid because there is literally no other way to play this game. And also, uh, I like the original actually, so I'm gonna go for the original soundtrack. I think you can change it. If I'm sure, I think. Yeah, let's keep it fresh. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. I feel like I'm getting emotional already. Like, I had such a journey the first time I played this game. And I'm getting like shivers. And I feel like it's all just coming back and... I just, I love this game. Say what you want about the new HD graphics. Like, they're not the best. Don't get me wrong. But, whatever. Whatever. Don't even care. I just remember when this first came out and I remember the first line that Titus said. And I'm calling him Titus in this, by the way. I don't care if people are like, it's Titus. I hate that. It's always been Titus since I was a little girl. Don't care. And that is what I am going with. But yeah, I remember the first time I heard a voice actor in a Final Fantasy game, which obviously for me was this game. And I just, I was so excited and I, I couldn't believe it. It's just, yeah, it's so epic. All right, so let's go and talk to the ladies first. Can I have your autograph? Of course. I'm gonna keep it Titus for the playthrough as well. Good luck tonight. 
nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row! It's from the right! Got it. Titus, you stud you. Can you sign this? No prop. Please? All righty. Me too! <laughs> Take it easy. When he says alrighty, it reminds me of Final Fantasy IX when Zidane is basically trying to tell Garnett to blend in more and she's like, alrighty. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three, teach us how to blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight, um... You can't tonight. I mean, tomorrow. Promise? Promise. Praise be to Yevon. Trying not to hit my mic by doing that. I say praise be to Yevon in like all of my Neo videos. I am so chill and I am so happy to be playing this game. It's just oh it's so good i want to make sure that i hear all of the story just now when Oren is talking it's something i don't tend to do i tend to rush to the end of the the road but I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa, <laughs> didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup Tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. It's definitely Oren's voice. He just sounds really weird when he's like using high energy because in this game, you don't get high energy from Oren, like ever. That just does not happen. Make way, make way. Excuse me, Coming please. Through. Sorry. Come on, move. Hey, I'm gonna be late. You're so famous, Titus. Hey, let go of me! <laughs> there was no one even there. He's like, let go of me! Okay, one of the most epic cutscenes you're about to see ever! Come <laughs> on. 
Such an epic way to start a Final Fantasy. Oh, the chills are so real right now. I feel like anyone that gives Titus flack is just, they don't really understand his character. And there's a lot of things I want to talk about in this series in regards to Titus. Huh. Oren! What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? Like, just with his mannerisms, why he says some things, why he is the way he is. I feel like he is very misunderstood and a lot of people forget that he's going through a lot. It begins. What? Don't cry. Spawn. I hate these little things. Here we go. Ones don't matter. We cut through. So, a thing I really love about this game, apart from like everything, so I love like everything about this game, is the fact that it's it's quite slow. It's quite a slow-paced game in regards to the battles. So, for example, when it's my turn, that basically means that no one else can do anything. Like I could walk away right now and nothing would happen. And it's something that I really like about this game. Final Fantasy IX was quite hectic. Everything was happening in real time. Whereas this gives me a Don't little bit more time. Wall. Cut the ones that matter and run. It gives me a little bit more time to think about what I actually want to do. Now, of course, at this moment, that doesn't really matter too much because there's... Obviously, we're in a linear battle and things like that, but... Later on in the game, it's really cool that you have that option. I just hope to find some people on this series that are the same way or they feel the same way about this game as I do because I feel like I don't know why it's one of those games that gets like a lot of flack in the series but it's great there was actually a lot of Titus cosplayers when I went to the fan fest in Germany ow Okay, so I'm gonna use Orin's overdrive, hopefully. Get out of my town. Some can't wait to die. They're just animals. Alright, let's go ahead and try Orin's overdrive. Watch me mess this up. Oh god. 
Ready? Yeah! Nice! Demi's pretty good at this, like, early battle. I don't know if it's actually possible to die. Right, this one I mess up every time. Oh, got it! Bomb. So yeah, basically at this point, all you want to do is just attack it. Um, hopefully that's not going to do too much damage. Maybe we should use a potion, just in case. But I'm definitely wanting to do a lot more fan of fantasy on my channel. As I say, this is just something, given how hectic everything is in the gaming world right now, I need a game that I can just know that when I sit down to play it, it's almost like lazy, if that makes sense. We all have that game that we can play without even really having to think too hard. And that for me is... Final Fantasy 10. Okay, I'm gonna risk this one, I think. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Uh oh, maybe not. I think all this, like, can do is Demi. Come on. Die! Yes! Thank goodness. Okay, so what I want to do now is get through these thingies and touch the save. I don't need to save it, but as long as you touch it, like if you go... Oh, I can't even go into my menu right now, but it's going to restore your HP. And I lost a lot of HP just then in that fight. What are you laughing at, old man? Lauren, let's get out of here. We're expected. Huh? Give me a break, man. So one thing that I'm gonna say in this playthrough, if this is your first time seeing Final Fantasy X, uh, I'm gonna be very conscious of what I talk about, because obviously I remember most of this game like down to a T, but obviously if you guys are watching this for the first time, I want you to experience the story with me and go on a journey. So I'm not gonna sit here and be like, telling you guys spoilers and oh my god there's so many stop it you horrible beasts <laughs> this could be bad that knock it down what trust me you'll see fine i trust <laughs> you yeah i'm gonna be very conscious of spoilers and i want to make sure that if this is like a first time that you guys are watching Final Fantasy X that I'm not gonna say anything that is gonna relate to you know things that happen in the game I want it to be all fresh and all brand new I nearly said all breast just then it's gonna be a mixture of brand new and fresh which is just weird I know <laughs> is that it
this is it. This is your story. It all begins here. It's really sad. Like, hey. that's his home. Hey! My old man? Yeah, it's totally sad. It's like, all he wants to do is play Blitzball. And be good. And then, you know, his hometown gets destroyed. And so it's, I don't know, it's really tragic. And I thought about a lot of things. Like, where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Birdie is so cute though. Anybody there? Aaron! Hey! It's a pretty freaky like area to end up in, isn't it? Okay, so I'm already moving. Um, I can't remember if I get, like, what items I get around here. I think the first Albed primer is actually when you're on a ship later on. But I want to see what this is first. This thing here. Okay, so that's in Albed, Makalania. What do we have here? Nope. Can't read it. So the fact that that actually says Makalania makes me believe that we're underneath Makalania just now. But I I can't prove that. Um, maybe someone in the comment section can tell me, but I'm not 100% certain if this was ever confirmed that we're currently underneath Makalania by being here. What's this? Okay, so basically it's saying I can take, because there's a few saves on here, but I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Basically it's asking do you want to take uh, save data with the other language from another slot, which is a very cool idea, but it's not what I want to do in this playthrough. Although it would be kind of nice to see what they say early on, because I don't have a scooby what they say early on. Okay. So I think I've got all the chests that I need to collect. This place gives me like the the heba de jeebies. Right, and if I remember, we fall down there and get quite a nice little surprise. But unfortunately guys, that is all I've got time for in this episode of Final Fantasy X. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!